Hello viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Right, in this video, um, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, deploy horizontal pod autoscaler um, based on memory utilization. A short while ago, um, I did a video on the same topic, uh, but it was based on CPU utilization. So whenever uh, the uh, CPU utilization of your pod goes uh, beyond a threshold, um, the horizontal pod autoscaler kicks in and then it increases the number of replicas to bring the CPU utilization um, down below the threshold. So that's based on the CPU utilization. And um, um, one of the viewer asked me um, how we can implement uh, the same uh, using the memory utilization. Um, because in this uh, environment, CPU utilization is not always a problem. Uh, it's a memory utilization. So whenever um, a replica or a pod uh, goes beyond a uh, certain amount of memory. He wants to um, scale out the number of replicas. So that's what we're going to do uh, in this video. And uh, if you haven't followed my previous uh, video on the CPU utilization, um, head to youtube.com and then search for um, Q35, I think. Yep, horizontal port autoscaler. So that's the one. And um, Okay, let's check that one. Um, the viewer who asked me is this guy here, Karthik. Um, how to scale up based on memory utilization? We never faced issues with CPU utilization. It's always the memory causing us the problem. Okay, fine. Uh, that's a valid point. Um, let me show you the notes that I used um, on this video. Okay, so um, in this video, my setup is very similar. Um, I'll just quickly go through uh, the setup here and I've got a K8 as cluster with three nodes, one master node and two worker nodes. All of them are um, LXC containers. They've uh, Each of them has got two CPU, two gig of RAM. Uh, they're all CentOS 7 containers. Um, in the CPU utilization video, I used Siege to uh, do the uh, load simulation um, to uh, check uh, if the load goes beyond the threshold, how the uh, autoscaler kicks in and does its job. Um, okay, and uh, things to remember, uh, we need to have a metric server installed in our cluster. So everything is done for this video. And uh, if you don't know how to do it, please watch this video before following the uh, the memory utilization video. Um, so we need metric server and we need to set the resource limits of the deployment. Um, so we'll go through all these in this video, right? And um, I've explained in more detail about the uh, the timings and the deployment setup and everything. I'm not going to go through all those again in this video, but this is just uh, the memory utilization thing. <laughs> okay, so um, let me clone my Kubernetes uh, repository. The link will be in the description if you want it. Git clone https github.com just me an open source Kubernetes. Okay, CD to Kubernetes, CD to YAMLs, and um, so these are the two uh, manifests that I've got. Uh, in the CPU utilization, I've used uh, the uh, uh, this manifest 10-hpa.yaml, 10-hpa.yaml. So basically, that's it. Auto scaling version one kindest horizontal pod auto scaler and I gave it a name. Maximum replicas when the CPU uh, utilization of any pod goes uh, about the uh, uh, about twenty percent, which is set here, and it will increase the number of replicas to bring the CPU utilization under control. So the maximum replicas it can scale out to is uh, set to five, and uh, this horizontal pod auto scaler is applied to the deployment nginx. So that's that's it. That's basically it, which I showed in the uh, in the in that video. So how about memory utilization? It's a little different. It's not supported in version one. So if I open the same file again for CPU utilization, we were using the auto scaling API version one, uh, but uh, the auto scaling API version one doesn't support. Uh, the memory metrics. So we have to use the beta version. VI10HPA mem.yaml. So that's the uh, the new manifest that I um, created and tested for this video. And if you look at it, there are some basic differences. And uh, this section here is entirely new. It's uh, something different to the uh, CPU utilization. 
um, you have to include the uh, the metrics option and uh, uh, type is resource resource name is memory target average utilization 50 so I've set it to 50 percent so this is not 50 meg or 50 gig or anything it's just uh, the percentage 50 percentage so whenever the memory utilization goes beyond 50 percentage um, autoscaler needs to scale out the number of replicas so that's what I'm saying here uh, maximum replicas minimum replicas the same and uh, this horizontal port autoscaler applies to the nginx deployment we will have a look at it okay so what is my cluster look like kubectl version minus minus shot so i'm on version 1.14.3 um, back when i was recording this video the version was 1.13.2 i think okay um kubectl get nodes my setup, as I told you, it's very similar to the uh, the video that I did for CPU utilization, so nothing to worry about. And I've already deployed the uh, uh, the metric server. kubectl minus n cube system get pods, and you can see the metric server is running here. kubectl top nodes, um, you can see the CPU cores use percentage, and the memory each node uses and its corresponding percentage kubectl minus n cube system top pods and you can see for the individual pods the number of cpu used and the amount of memory uh, used okay so we are good with the metric server we are good with uh, the setup so now we are going to deploy a sample nginx um, application a quick one kubectl run nginx minus minus image nginx deployment created kubectl get all Okay, the container is getting created for the Nginx. <clears throat> so as I, if you had followed my uh, CPU utilization video, there's one other step that we need to do. We need to set the resource limits. So the moment there are no resource limits set, kubectl describe deploy Nginx. <clears throat> so as you can see here in the part template, you don't see any uh, resource limits or resource requests set. So in order to use the um, horizontal port auto scaling, you need to set the resource limits. So that's mandatory. Let's go ahead and do that. kubectl edit deploy nginx. So under the container specification, I'm going to add the resource limits. Resources. Um, limits so what type of limit are we applying uh, memory so I'm gonna say 500 meg so this means that any container within this deployment uh, any nginx container within this deployment cannot use more than 500 megabytes of system memory okay and we also need uh, the requests memory page up where, where is it okay memory and 50 meg so what this means is uh, this container or this part should get scheduled on a worker node that has at least 50 meg so uh, that's what the request says so that's guaranteed so it can't deploy to any worker node that has less than 50 uh, meg Right, so that's the request. Uh, the part gets scheduled on a worker node that has at least 50 meg. So the part, the container is guaranteed to get at least 50 uh, meg memory. And it can't use more than 500 meg. So that's what we need. So resource limits is set. So now we can set <coughs> kubectl describe deploy nginx. And now you can see uh, the limits set and the request set to 50 meg. That's good. And now we can deploy the uh, the horizontal part autoscaler resource. kubectl get hpa. No resource found, nothing. Okay. kubectl create minus f. Then hpa mem.yaml. That's created. kubectl get hpa. Okay, so that's the basic um, HPA that we created. Uh, the threshold is set to 50%. Uh, the current number of uh, pods uh, is 1. 
so that's a minimum so that's the maximum replica it can scale out up to uh, five replicas okay um, kubectl get all uh, that's running 50% uh, deployment okay cool let me okay okay let's do a watch command to see what's uh, going on behind the scene kubectl get hpa come up pods okay so at the moment uh, you can see here uh, the nginx deployment uh, started with just one replica and uh, it's at the moment it's using 5% of the 50% uh, threshold so it's using 5% of the 500 meg limit that we set so if it exceeds beyond 50% then uh, the horizontal power order scaler will launch additional uh, pods here. So let's try that out. So Nginx is basically an Ubuntu um, base image. So we can do kubectl exec minus it for interactive mode. Uh, the Nginx pod, so this one here, and I'm going to execute uh, the shell command. Okay, so we are now inside the Nginx container. And uh, in the previous video, I used Siege to do the load testing, but now I'm going to use a tool called Stress to... Um, using Stress, you can install, uh, you can do load testing, CPU, te sorry, load testing, memory testing, and uh, um, IO testing as well. So now we can do the, uh, the memory testing. We need to install uh, the Stress package, the Stress application. Um, app get update. So as we do this, uh, the memory used by this pod will increase. And you can see it here. The moment it's still at 5%, it's only using 5% of the um, 500 meg limit that we set. Let's add uh, the stress package. App get install stress. Okay, stress is installed. Stress minus minus help. So you can see... Um, Verbos timeout after n seconds vm okay don't worry about this uh, here's an example um, vm is two timeout is 10 second okay let's try that out stress minus minus vm so that's the number of uh, threads or number of workers uh, to spawn so let's say we need to spawn like two uh, threads minus minus vm bytes um, let's say 200 meg, uh, 200 meg, okay, that should be, uh, 200 times 2 is 400, so the, it will be increased to 400 meg, let's see what it does, okay, um, as you already see here, the, uh, threshold, the current memory utilization is 39% and it will exceed the 50%. Um, as we are running the stress uh, memory stress testing. So keep watching this space and in a short while uh, the memory utilization will shoot beyond 50% and the horizontal part auto scaler will uh, create more replicas. Okay, so there you go. You have uh, the current memory utilization is now uh, close to 350%. And the horizontal part auto scaler has created additional three replicas. So now it is creating one more replica, trying to get the uh, memory utilization under control. And it has created yet another replica. So now the current number of replicas um, is 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this will get updated very soon, the current number of replicas. Yeah, so now it's 5. Um, so still the memory utilization is um, high. Um, because we set the maximum replicas to 5, it can't create any more replicas. Otherwise, it would keep creating more replicas until the memory utilization comes down to 50, um, less than 50%. So this is just a testing um, because we are we directly um, logged into one of the pod and we are doing the stress testing. So the load is never going to come back. The memory load, the memory stress that we have put in. Uh, so it's now 350% down to 161%. That's good, but still we are above the threshold. So it's not going to delete any of the uh, replicas. Okay, let's do another testing. I'm going to stop the stress testing. And you will see in a short while the uh, memory utilization will come down. 
and then the horizontal for auto scalar will delete uh, the uh, excess replicas and it will be down to two or one replica depending on uh, what Kubernetes thinks uh, but the scaling down will happen uh, there's a cooling period of five minutes I think so we have to wait for a while um, before the uh, pod gets uh, terminated before the scaling down happens actually so still the memory utilization is 161 percent um, soon it will drop down because we are not doing um, anything at the moment on any of these spots okay now the uh, memory utilization dropped down to 11 percent um, that's good and in about five minutes time uh, the horizontal point auto scaler will scale down the number of replicas but um, I'm not sure whether it will scale down to uh, one um, or two I don't know but it will definitely terminate uh, a specific number of replicas because the uh, the memory utilization is well under the uh, threshold so I'm gonna pause the video because it's gonna take like five minutes uh, I'm going to pause the video now and uh, come back when it has terminated the VM. Right, as you can see, uh, the pods are getting terminated. Um, the pods, uh, the age of the pod is uh, over six minutes. So it took about like five minutes or so um, for the uh, scaling down to kick in. So now uh, the horizontal pod auto scaler has decided to shut down three replicas. No, now we are left with two replicas. Um, the memory utilization is 22% uh, at the moment. Um, I'm not sure because we set the minimum number of replicas to one and the load is well under 50%. So I was expecting it uh, to delete four replicas and leave us with just one replica, but it has just uh, terminated three replicas and we are um, uh, still having two replicas. Uh, maybe in the next cycle, in the next five minutes, uh, one more replica will get deleted, but I'm not sure. Uh, but basically, this is how you use the um, horizontal pod auto scaler uh, to scale out or scale in uh, based on the memory utilization. You can also look at the events uh, from the HPA uh, details. kubectl describe HPA and the name of the uh, horizontal pod auto scaler is nginx. Um, you can see the uh, the events here. Uh, unable to get metrics so that's the first time when you start you will see that don't worry about that uh, warning um, fail to get memory utilization unable to get metrics for resource memory that's okay no problem um, new size is for reason memory resource utilization percent of request about target so it has done the scaling up uh, three times now two times four and then it increased the number of replicas to five and then uh, later uh, it decreased the number of replicas by three so the now the new size is to all metrics below target so that's that's basically it okay guys so that's it for this video if you've got any uh, questions please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section um, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you've got any cool ideas about any Kubernetes topics, please let me know. Um, basically, I'm running out of uh, topics. Um, uh, but I've got a big topic, uh, but that requires a series of videos. Um, uh, I haven't started that yet. It's uh, the uh, service mesh Istio in um, Kubernetes. So a um, few users asked me to do videos on uh, Istio, how to use that within uh, uh, the Kubernetes cluster. So I've, already started preparing uh, for those topics but I haven't uh, recorded any videos yet but if you find any interesting topics uh, please let me know and uh, I will add it to my to-do list okay and um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, if you haven't already subscribed please do so I've got a uh, lot of videos uh, that I have planned and thank you so much for your time watching this video today I hope you enjoyed and I'll all see you in my next video bye bye